No, your eyes are not deceiving you. Your triumph loving sport naked bike girl is taking a Harley for her first road trip ever. 2000 mile trip. It's a Harley Street Glide. It's only got about 300 miles on it. So I'm sure some of you have a lot of questions. If you haven't been following my Instagram, you may not have seen the hints I've been dropping to what I was going to get on this road trip. Um, so first off, why am I on Harley when I'm always preaching and riding naked sport bikes? The longest road trip I've ever done, road trip, was five hours away and I followed a friend on my Triumph Street Triple R in her car with my stuff packed in her car. And, uh, and it was a weekend trip and that was it. So that's the most road trip I've ever done. And I just really want to do the things I haven't done before. And a road trip, a long road trip on a motorcycle is one of them. Less than a day of riding in the mountains. Oh, I thought that, I thought that was a Harley. <laughs> Clearly I don't know the sound of Harley engines yet. <laughs> it, was, it was a truck. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't tell you guys what a new buy am. So my favorite kind of ridings, y'all know, are mountain curve riding. And that's the most of riding I do, mostly in town, in the city. Um, it was commuting when I used to work an office job. My bike, the Triumph Street Triple R, is perfect for those things. But for a ride pretty much longer than a few hours, on my bike or any naked bike really, my body hurts. My butt hurts, my back hurts, my head hurts. The wind deflection is just so much, especially on the highway. And packing up my bike, that is an, a whole new ordeal. So I decided, you know what? How about I get on a bike that is made for long rides, that is comfortable, that deflects wind, that comes with hard cases, so I don't have to learn about strapping down or finding the best bags or anything. That was my plan, was let me find another bike, not like the bikes I normally ride, for a long road trip. I did go on some of my favorite uh, rider road trippers and check up their tip videos. So Kill Switch Queen, Amanda Zitto on her channels as the Magpie Fly, she has a whole playlist of long distance trips. And one of the things they said, oh, Wit Mesa, of course, she just completed an iron butt challenge. And one of the things they said was, to get a bike that, a perfect road trip bike, maybe the bike that you are probably used to, um, which is, would have been my bike or naked, naked mid-level bikes. But, oh my gosh, I, the pain after a whole day in the mountains is just, I don't wanna do that for eight days straight. I plan on riding 2000 miles, actually not eight days, for about five days. So I decided whatever I got, I would just make sure to do a lot of parking lot skills practice. So that's what I'm doing with this bike right now. I just picked it up and I went, I didn't even go on the road or on the highway yet. Or I didn't go home. I went straight to the nearest parking lot and I've been practicing right now all the slow speed skills from the ground up, even just practicing turn signals, <laughs> getting used to where they are. Um, so I'm not done. I'm still gonna keep practicing. I haven't done emergency brakes yet, so I'm gonna do that. And maybe U-turns. Just sitting on it felt so awkward, different from everything I've been doing for years. But luckily, the slow speed skills class, friction zone, rear brake, clutch control, counterweighting in uh, like 15 miles per so or below, that's all translating. So as nervous as I felt, the bike's going where I want. This big beast is, is making, sharp t making sharp turns. Uh, I haven't practiced U-turns yet, um, but yeah, it's, it's so far so good. Um, and why specifically I went with the Harley Street Glide. So I dropped the ball a little bit and uh, either I just decided to do this road trip to last minute, I can't remember, or I just reached out and looked for a road tripping bike to last minute. So only about a, a week or two before I'm going to leave, that is when I started looking for a road trip bike which that was my fault. I started off looking on Rideshare because um, I've rented from them before and it's, it's always been really smooth. I found a Yamaha 950 
um, and it had saddlebags included in everything. And I also found a, there was a BMW, a BMW GS, but the seat height was pretty high and I'm not, I haven't practiced on top, tall, top heavy adventure bikes, so I didn't go with it. And I have ridden the Triumph Tiger Low, um, just for a short while, like 30 minutes. So I really, I was really interested in that too. I had been also been looking into the Honda CB500X, which is what as a magpie flies and Megan Captain, who are long distance adventure riders, that's what they ride. And I'd, I had a contact with Harley as well. So I was looking at their cruisers and their baggers. Um, and since I was so last minute at looking for a bike, I just emailed all the people. And uh, with my timing, most of these, most of the manufacturers I have contacts to, they just, they just didn't have the bike available for the, in the time frame. But Harley came through. Harley, um, the marketing guy at Harley, he, he couldn't get me a press bike, which is a bike specifically meant for um, journalists or YouTubers for reviewing. Um, he couldn't get me one in short time, but he was able to go through Eagle Riders, which is like rider share or Twisted Road, rent, Twisted Road for Harleys and Indians, but you knew and it's through dealerships. So that's how, that's the way you can rent bikes that way. So he got that for me and um, got this rental through a dealership. So thank you, Matt, for saving my butt. If I'm thinking safety first and what I'm used to, I would not have gone for a Harley Street Glide. I would have gone for the Triumph Low Tiger. Um, but I got what I can got and I got what I could get. And luckily some of you have really been requesting me getting on a Harley and, and a specifically a bagger. Thank God my slow speed skill training is coming in handy. I, I was really worried because it's been a while since I, um, since I trained with Jerry Palladino on his on his classes Harley Sportster and his wife's Harley Electroglide. So I was really worried that I had forgotten a lot, but thank God, friction zone. That's all, that's all translating. So um, I don't know if I could do those 18 foot U-turns today on this bike like I did, like I could with Jerry Palladino a few years ago. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try because this thing is pristine. It's only got 300 miles, so. I might just avoid avoid the U-turns this whole trip until I can get down and uh, until I can get a coach to help me out again. Well, I'm going to keep practicing in this parking lot, and then I am going to take this beast on the highway so I can get home, and we'll pack up for my trip, and I'll show you everything I'm packing up for my road trip right before we leave tomorrow. Ah! Here it is. 306 miles, that's what we're starting off on. As far as safety goes, since I will be doing this trip alone, I will be planning out a detailed itinerary with contact details, giving it to Cody and my parents, and I will keep uh, Google Maps location sharing so Cody can track where I am during my whole time away, and I'll also do check-ins, and I'm staying with people I know and love, and I know your hesitations, many of you hesitations on going on solo road trips, but this is what I want to do. My hand, my clutch hand, Harleys and Atlanta traffic do not mix. Okay, so we are in my office now and I am laying all my stuff out to go pack. So as I'm recording this, it is five o'clock on Saturday and I wanna publish this video tonight for you to watch before I leave tomorrow. So I'm going uh, kind of on a loop around the East Coast. And I just realized I forgot to mention why I'm not on the Harley Pan America that you all saw me tr uh, just sit on and try out not too long ago. So I know I said in the video, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought, um, I think it's too top heavy for me right now. Uh, I really want to train with Jocelyn Snow before I ride a Harley Pan America, if I do. So, um, anyways, so that's part of also why I'm not on a Pan America right now. Well, besides me doing that last minute. But let me show you everything I'm packing and I'm like, is this it? But I, I guess so. So let me show you. Uh, let me turn my camera around, actually. New helmet, who dis? So I'm not taking my red Arai helmet because I learned that 
Across different helmet brands and models, there are different ratings. That is the Arai Defiant. Arai is no longer going to make that. And I found out that there, there's one helmet test that I know of that will rate, rank, give a ranking to helmets and across brands. So that one got a 4.5 out of 5. This one, the Corsair and the their Signet got a 5 out of 5. And I think that's a Billy Crash rating. I'll put a link down below. So, uh, so that's why I'm going to take my Corsair, not my red helmet today. Um, taking this pro, the Pro Shade system, that's been really nice for having some sun protection. Uh, I mean, for four years, I just had my showy just had, you know, that just one clear visor. And I was like, I don't need it. But now that I've had it, I never want to go back to not having it. Uh, I'm going to take my light colored gloves for more visibility. That is my rain one piece suit. Um, some non uh, riding boots, shoes, bathing suit. That's a towel. My shirts. That is those are pajama pants. Pajama shirt is in the wash. One sweater, one pair of non riding pants. Um, electronics. I want to take my laptop so I can put all the footage I'm getting and put it on external drives and also my Google Drive. I, whenever I save files, I put them in three places just because I'm paranoid like that. So I'll put them on two external drives and Google Drive. So um, some snacks, matcha tea, some good reading, my agenda planner, which has my itinerary and stuff, some plastic sunglasses, tire pressure gauge, vitamins, multivitamins in that purple box, uh, electrolytes. That was something her two wheels suggested. Uh, I got a different brand than she told me, but those are some nuts. That's pretty much it. I'm like, is that it? Is that all I need for like five days? Uh, one tip I did here was don't pack a clo was like clothes for every day. Just pack enough for like half of it and then just wash your clothes. So that's that's what I that's why this clothes is like nothing. Oh, and that's a bathing suit. I think I forgot to mention that. Um, I think I'll also pack my backpack just so I have something. Should I? I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Um, Oh, and under those electronics, that's a dry bag that I use when scuba diving, that like gray bag, it's waterproof and yeah, you know, that'll be good. Extra, what's it called, extra drives. I mean, extra SD cards. I think that's about it. I'm gonna pack the uh, Street Glide. I'll pr actually, I'll start packing tonight because you can actually lock the hard cases, which is really cool. And how was that Street Glide um, riding it through town in the highway home? Um, riding it on the highway, I mean, it, it's that seat. Oh my gosh, it's like sitting on a cloud. Uh, the windscreen, it's weird. I, I was, I, I wanted, oh, a Harley. Hey, we're friends, man. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted wind protection, um, uh, but the wind like drives everything right on my head. So it's really loud. Um, I ordered some earplugs, but the box was so ginormous, I'm like, uh, that's not what I meant to order. So I'm going to return those and hopefully I'll find some some earplugs at CVS Pharmacy because uh, all my earplugs that I have here at home hurt my ears after like an hour and then I just take them off and it's like, well, what was the point of that then? Bike only has 300 miles. It's, I mean, it's brand new. So uh, I am still going to do T-Clocks though, just so I can get to know her a little better. This is one of three road trips that I'm planning on doing this winter or this fall or this year so this first one will be the biggest one it'll be 2,000 miles it's not the order I would have loved to do it but timing I I got I gotta get things done so uh so this first one will be the longest one and then my next two shortly after it but we'll both be going to Florida either side of Florida I'll be visiting my parents for their birthdays and also um stop by I want to see Blockhead the first weekend of October to to an event if they get back while I'm still there Hopefully, uh, I can stop by and see them. Unfortunately, though, my back did hurt. Uh, it's a different kind of hurt. It's a different position. I don't know. Maybe I was tense or leaning slightly back or forward. I don't know. So I'll just make sure to stop a lot, stretch a lot. And uh, if you got any tips for me, I'm leaving tomorrow. So let me know down below and wish me luck. So I almost forgot to mention. Um, so I'm doing these all these road trips. This first trip, I'm doing a loop up coast, and I'm up coast, up east coast, and I'm gonna stop by and see a couple friends 
one in Nashville. I'm going to see Her Two Wheels in Ohio and Lolly in Philadelphia and another friend in North Carolina. And then after these two road trips, I'll be flying out to California and I will be training with Moto Jitsu and Jocelyn Snell. Uh, and then after that, I'll do, right? Yeah, and then after that, I'll do the third road trip. And uh, the second one, I may be on another Harley, on, a, on the Harley um, Road Glide. So I'll be able to do a comparison on the two bikes. And the third bike, I'm not sure what I'll be on for the third trip. Because of all these travel, I'll be taking a YouTube break. Um, maybe not necessarily a YouTube break, but I'm going to say I'll be on spotty uploads because I've never done this before. I've never done any of this before and I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know if I'm going to be traveling the whole time and have be so exhausted or just be socializing uh, and I won't be able to edit the videos. I don't know. So that's why I say spotty uploads um, because... I just don't know what this is good what this all this traveling is gonna be like stay tuned because if I can I do want to go live like whenever I visit her two wheels or Lolly Moto Jitsu Jocelyn Snow if we can go live I definitely will I'll be posting all about this for sure on Instagram so you can follow along there so I'm currently working on the 2022 women's calendar if you remember last year's calendar it was basically a bunch of women riders that most of who we already know, like Her Two Wheels was in it, Lolly, um, As a Magpie Flies, Brit Bap, Brit Brap, Red Spade, Wit Mesa. I just want to show that women riders, we are just like any other rider. We're not, we go on road trips, we get all sweaty and messy, we like to be in gear, some of us do. And uh, we're not all here just for, I'm trying to think of how to say this in a way that's not rude. I just wanted to show women riders as we really are and what we look like on a ride. Celebrate some genuine women riders. And um, this year I'm opening it up to the audience, to all of you all. So I am taking submissions. Um, I, I already have a lot of submissions. So I just, I only posted it on Instagram because I knew it would be a lot. and. Uh, Oh, I hate having to filter through. That's like the worst part, like saying like what stays and what doesn't. Because I only have, I only got 12 slots in the calendar. Only, there's only 12 months. I'll make it a six year calendar. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> I'm currently working on that. And uh, if you want to make sure that you get it, because I'm only going to launch it for a limited time so that I can do a pre-order so that I can pack and ship it myself. So I'm going to order it in bulk and pack and ship it myself so that I know you get it because last year I did a print on demand service and a lot of people didn't get their calendar. So I'm like, uh -uh, I'm not doing that this year. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it myself. I'm touching it myself. I'm kissing it off good luck before I send it to you. So I know you all get it. So if you wanna make sure you know that short window that it's going to be launched, uh, sign up for emails with the link down below and I'll make sure you get that first. Y'all remember the um, neck gaiter that I designed last year? So that's where my nickname comes from, Doodle. <laughs> it comes from, I mean, I draw. I used to draw a lot more before I sold my soul to the corporate world. Used to carry around a sketchbook with me and draw almost every day. You know, life happens, you grow up, you get busy, you start working. And I don't draw as much anymore as much as I used to, but I did for um, a neck gaiter I designed last year. And, uh, and I had you all vote on some of the, on a few designs. And uh, the first edition, um, thank you all so much for everyone who got, who got the first edition Doodle Doodle Gator. In that vote, there were two that were very close. It was only a 0.2% difference. So I decided that the next year I was gonna launch the second one as a second edition. And here it is. Only me and one other person have this. The other person was one that uh, I messed up the inventory quantity and he was, thought he was getting a distinguished gentleman's uh, gator and I asked him, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I actually ran out. Is it okay if you have one of these samples I got? And 
and he agreed so he he has one of the, he has one too but it's basically just drawings just drawings of beautiful bikes i drew all these bikes that i just thought were beautiful so again i'm shipping and packing it myself it's going to be a pre-order and once they're gone they're gone so if you want to be one of the few that gets notified whenever it launches just make sure you're signed up for emails and you will be see isn't this better than just like a bandana with a bunch of skulls this is what sophisticated riders wear. Okay, I better start packing this and make sure it all fits on the bike. So I will see you soon. Bye.